balloon. Yes, I did see the red balloon as a little kid, that movie. This is a whole different building again. Oh, I love that red. That's great. It's brilliant. Hi guys, what's up? Uh, Mr. Parker here. Uh, this is my review, I believe week five for the DVD Fiends. And I'm going to be doing a review on Beyond Dream's Door. Uh, this film I had never seen before, I just kept hearing about it, and when it came, I never heard about it really before it was released on DVD, when I heard about the DVD, I said, that film sounds interesting, and uh, every once in a while it's like you come across these films that you've heard about for a very long time, like, well, on DVD, and you never buy it, and then you eventually buy it, and you watch it, and you come across, and it's, it's low budget, but it's just one of those films that you wish you would have seen a long time ago, it's very, very different for I mean a lot of people compare it to Nightmare on Elm Street the dreams and stuff but the film is just one of those low budget gems that you don't find it was filmed in a over Ohio and stuff over a course of a I believe a few years um, it basically follows the story of a guy who believes he's in college and his dreams are very strange so he uh, he's having trouble and stuff so he talks to like the count uh, the professor and a couple I think they're like interns what do you call those people that are like half teachers trying to become teachers I'm not sure that's bad because my mom's a teacher, but uh, so they uh, so they basically try to figure it out, and they look into his dreams. And he writes them down, and they figure out that someone else had had those dreams previously, and it becomes like this whole chain of evil dreams that like just go through you. It's like haunted dreams. It's very strange, lots of weird stuff, a bit like psychedelic almost. And the idea is it's like a bad acid trip or something, in some ways. And it's just like although it's very low budget, uh, my friend was watching it with me. He said it moved very much like a book, like a story, and he liked that a lot. Like, for the low budgetness, it's excellent. Even for just a regular film, I would put it up to other films. It's an excellent film. I mean, I would give it four out of five stars. And I just enjoyed it thoroughly. It's short, it's to the point, and it's very, very strange. It's, there's not, like, it's hard to be to a point when you're that weird, but it succeeds. I mean, and also, like, in the dream sequences, it's like they have a couple things that happen in the dreams that actually feel like nightmares. So, I would recommend it. Um, there's also, like, a cool monster. Like, kind of like, he like, there's this janitor and he has like no hands and stuff. And he has hooks for hands and like, you see him. He like it's all the demon the dream is like a demon it's all a demon and like if you fall asleep within the dream or something the demon becomes looks like a giant like puppet monster or something but the puppet monster is awesome because i have all those type of things i would compare it to something around the level of deadly spawn or the abomination but uh and also like it's very strange like the people that die they come back america wear up in london style and like haunt you but they really just want to like help they're like part of the demon they're helping the demon it's very very strange the soundtrack to the movie is pretty cool. It's like almost mystical, I guess I'd say. Like, strange. But all around, it's a creepy direct-to-video movie made in the late 80s. Uh, there's a lot of good special features on the DVD that I, I haven't got a chance to check out, but here's the movie. Uh, you can find it probably for under 10 bucks with shipping. I'd recommend picking it up. It's a, it's a nice find, and it's a nice brush of fresh air. Fre breath of fresh air that you don't get much anymore with the new wave movies. I mean, uh, I really believe that the late 80s, besides the slasher like craze during there, they had a lot of weird and original movies out there that just people were like, they like would crap on. So when you read bad reviews about these movies, 
you just gotta go back and check them out for yourself because I don't think people are ready for stuff like this or like Frankenhooker or weird stuff like that or street trash. You just, just a lot of strange stuff that's truly underrated. So, oh, not to mention also like Beyond Dreams Door has a couple good gore effects in there. And oh, let me talk about the characters. The main character is pretty decent. He's like, I guess you'd take like if you made Ray Ramon less like cheap looking, he'd look like that, like a non-cheap Ray Ramon. Like, I, Ray Ramon's cool, but he looks kind of cheap. But, uh, Ray Baron from, uh, everybody loves Raymond. Ray Romano, whatever. But, uh, and then there's another character in there. Uh, he's just, like, a typical character guy. And he really fits well. He's just, like, he's very realistic. I mean, the acting's not the best, but it's almost like he's such a realistic character and you can see him acting like this. Like, he's, like, he's a little scared to help. Like, the one Ray Ramon guy is kind of, like, pushy and stuff. Like, I can come over your house and show you the dreams, and he's like, no, you're creeping me out. Like, kind of, he's really cool about that. Like, that kind of, how he is. Like, just how any woman would act. And then there's also, like, a female-like character who's also, like, an intern, I guess I'd say. And she's moderately, she's a decent character, too. And, uh, and also there's, like, a, I guess I'd call him a cross between Oliver Reed and, like, William Shatner, like, psychiatrist teacher. That's pretty cool. And he's, like, kind of out there, acts very strange. Uh, it's kind of like that actor, you don't know if he's really that... I think he's a bad actor. He's just completely a weird person in real life, like Shatner. But I like I like the movie a lot, and I'd recommend it. The score's cool. They have some cool scenes. Like there's one scene where a guy follows somebody who had the dreams previously inside the dreams and tries to question him, and he goes to this house of all these like people who had died in the dreams and they're haunted. It's very strange. I mean, the dream, just anything dealing with dreams is kind of a scary idea. I mean, like, the dreams seeping into the real world, and they're haunted and evil. It's just cool. Like, dream demons, basically. And there's also a couple, like, poems read over, like, monologues in this that are pretty cool, too. So, uh, if it sounds up your alley, it's a very strange movie, check it out. Beyond Dreams Door. Thank you.